What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. I've got just a really quick tutorial on how to get your PS2 or PC USB generic controller to work on your uh, PC with your Steam games here. Now the reason why I'm making this video is basically for the greater good of anybody who wants to do this because all of the videos that I found because I wanted to do this, either they were hard to understand, very confusing, or maybe they had you go click on suspicious links. And, you know, I'm not about that. So I just want to make this, and hopefully it's helpful all the way around to everybody who wants to do this. Now, if you're like me, PS2 is your favorite controller, so you want to use that on your games and not have to switch back and forth between other controllers here. So what I've done is linked in the description section below to the website www.x360ce.com, and once you're here, you see a download for 32-bit and 64-bit games. You click download on both of those, which will open up the zip file for that, and then you can just close out of that. So you can differentiate by seeing that 64-bit has a 64, 32 has a nothing. Now the reason why you need both is because maybe you don't know if the game that you want to play is 32 or 64-bit and chances are you want to play multiple games with this controller here, so you're going to need both. So the first thing you need to do, or the next thing you need to do, is go to your store page of your game to see if it has controller support. You scroll down, you see right here it's got partial controller support, so we know that it works. Go back to your library, right click on your game, click properties, click local files, and then uh, you just go to browse local files. Once you're here, you see, well, I mean, you can go this way manually too, because you're going to have to do this for every single game, and chances are you're going to want to use this controller for multiple games. So you can go to this manually by going to your C drive, going to your program files, going to Steam, Steam apps common and then you have all of your games right here so opening up the file I know for a fact that this is a game that is a 32-bit but just in case you don't this is how you do trial and error you drag in just one of them I'm gonna drag in the uh, the 64-bit just because I know it's not going to work you open it up and it's gonna give you this error message it's got an error right here this folder contains a 32-bit game which is all you need to know just close out and then you delete this file which you just added and you pop in your 32-bit it's just as simple as that you open it up and it's gonna ask you some information here I've got the PS2 controller so it's pretty straightforward but I think all controllers have the same layout with the four face buttons two joysticks uh, one d-pad uh, four shoulder buttons so they're practically all the same but I'm just gonna search the internet for the correct settings and then you hit finish and then here you are you gotta make sure that all of your buttons work I know this is a 360 controller and not a PS2 controller but it's gonna work the same in case you do not have any buttons here all you gotta do is click the drop down click record and click the button for all of them it's not that actually this is probably the setting that I set up earlier but you go to your force feedback you enable that if you want force feedback and you click save it's just as simple as that and it's saved and you close this out you start up Stardew Valley and it's gonna work it's a really simple process you do this for all your games and it's gonna work this is actually my joystick doing this because that's how Stardew Valley works anyways I hope you enjoy this video and had it helpful for you if you're trying to set this up and had like a trustworthy link and everything because you know there's a lot of videos out there which just hard to understand if you have any more complicated technical problems with this uh, program uh, don't ask me because I don't know this is just a really simple way of working it you know that's what I wanted to share with you well anything else outside of that I don't know my guess is just as good as yours but subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing gameplay videos I play PC and PS2 games uh, like I'm playing Dark Souls 1 I'm playing Stardew Valley obviously I'm also uh, doing PS2 games too so we're playing all sorts of stuff here and subscribe if you're interested in that I don't do tutorial videos but this is just something that I feel like would be helpful for a lot of people thanks for watching see you guys next time